Okay. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Uh, okay, and to Doc Bingo, salamat po sa introduction. So, sa lahat ng mga presenters at sa mga kapwa ko panelists, sa mga nanonood online, kasama po natin dito sa Zoom. Magandang magandang hapon. And uh, thank you very much to PIDS, uh, especially to Dr. Babes Arbeta. Pag-imbita po sa amin sa TESTA sa webinar na ito. And we thank you for the opportunity to react on this important study on the Philippine labor market information and test the skills anticipation and prioritization skills requirements. Um, we have actually uh, uh, requested the help of the PIDS on this, uh, where we we were given a, a provision from our GAA for the conduct of this study. And we are thankful and we commend uh, Dr. Connie, the Koy Koy, and her team, including uh, Dr. Epesha, for their thorough analysis and insightful recommendations. So as we have heard, um, the study highlights the critical need of a well-functioning LMIS to address skills mismatch in the country. So indeed, a robust LMIS is essential in anticipating skills and meeting the skills requirements of our economy and aligning it uh, in our education outputs to the labor market needs. So TESDA being an education agency. Um, we, we welcome the findings and recommendations of the study as we are uh, pursuing uh, really an area-based demand-driven pivot, uh, which is the strategy of our National Technical Education Skills Development Plan 2023 to 2028. Our NTSDP is actually the Tibet sector plan is, is not the plan of TESDA, and it has a vision of really having a globally recognized Philippine Tibet, which is a catalyst for lifelong learning and socioeconomic transformation. And the plan is aligned to the Philippine Development Plan. Um, this is also supportive of the uh, Test the Best 8 point agenda of our new Test the Secretary, our Director General, uh, Secretary Jose Francisco Benitez. Um, our Secretary has uh, presented to the President this eight point agenda for TESA, which aims to transform our Tibet ecosystem to produce more graduates that are work ready and future ready and competitive in an agile and fast changing world. So, this eight point agenda, sub in summary, would be the following. So, it's the first letter actually of the first eight letters of the alphabet para madali po nating ma ma maalala. So, it's three. First is access to Tibet. So, this is more of um, expanding access to our TVET programs through our scholarships and free assessments and to enhance employability of our graduates. This would also number two of the agenda is behavior and mindset change, which is to really cultivate a dynamic uh, organizational mindset, uh, stealing uh, in, among the internal and external stakeholders and enhance the efficiency and quality of our programs. Pangatlo po dito sa eight point agenda is the comp competency standards training regulations, development for new and higher level qualifications. So these are really about developing more programs for high-skilled jobs and promote workforce agility at, amidst a uh, changing labor market. Fourth is demand-driven and data-driven. So this is really about strengthening partnerships with industry to align training programs with market needs and enhance labor market intelligence and evidence-based event programming. Number five is employment outcomes. Um, this is about enhancing employability and facilitate employment and career progression of Tibet graduates, which is really aligned to the recommendations of the study, both by Dr. Connie and, of course, Dr. Lawrence. Number six is flexible learning and facilities. So this would enable uh, different learning modalities and uh, improving quality of Tibet programs through our immersive experience and use of adequate facilities and uh, uh, appropriate uh, technologies in terms of uh, training delivery. Seventh of the agenda is about global Okay, I think uh, Director uh, is... is Okay, excellent. You're back. Yes. Okay. Nawala ako. I'm so <laughs> Okay, so yes, last is about harmonization with senior high school curriculum, laderization with higher education and lifelong learning pathways. 
So this is really about uh, enhancing the employability of our senior high school graduates uh, by integrating Tibet standards in the senior high school curriculum and, and enabling multiple pathways and learning for our learners through the ladderization programs. So um, this strategy, so yun po yung nabanggit po kanina, um, we have uh, already uh, looked into all of these recommendations by the PIDS study. And we have started some initial work on the findings and recommendations. So first is on addressing the need for clarity and consistency in the mapping of skills across various occupations. So TESDA has been collaborating with the Philippine Statistics Authority already on the alignment of TVET programs to the PISOC, so to the Philippine Standard Occupations Classification. So we see this because the adoption of a robust, as mentioned po by Dr. Connie, skills taxonomy will enable us to fine-tune the competency standards, our competency-based curriculum and assessment tools. Pangalawa, on the use of Philsys ID to enhance the mechanism of collecting tracer data, uh, we shall look into this as uh, TESA is also planning to enhance our uh, this enhance our study, our we were conducting the study and employment of Tibet graduates annually. So we hope that as uh, Tibet Tibet adapts to the Philsys in the tracking of Tibet graduates or our beneficiaries, we are also we also that it will be institutionalized not only in Tibet but also across the whole Philippine education system and among employers. Para isa lang ang tinitingnan nating uh, number or ID ng ating mga uh, graduates or the, the part of the education system. On the potential of our pesos and the field job net to support our SAPSAR efforts, um, uh, TESDA and DOLE, uh, since our DOLE is our mother agency, we are working together in a joint memorandum circular which aims to strengthen the linkages of the two agencies' programs. So kasama na po dito yung mga public uh, employment services, labor market information, and yun, uh, the, link, the link of the field job net, so among others, para mas uh, ma maling po natin lahat ng programa from the employment facilitation programs ng DOLE and that of TESTA. Um, we also recognize that the study identified the need for a collaboration among agencies, um, among DOLE, TESTA, CHED, DEPEDLED, and the PSA in the private sector. So we are really supportive of this um, because that's also part of our strategy now, as I mentioned, yeah, as, uh, as part of the eight-point agenda of our secretary. So we support the strengthening of partnerships with our stakeholders to ensure that skills anticipation initiatives are grounded in real-time labor market realities and that data collection efforts are sustained. Um, in addition, uh, this study mentions that the dollar leads operationalization of the LMIS and that, as the study indicates, its scope is not only for TVET, and given its primary responsibility for labor market information analysis at the national level. We have also, uh, um, uh, it was also mentioned in the study, the importance of capacity building at all stages of the SAPSAR frameworks as shown by Dr. Connie. So we recognize the need to be able to harness knowledge from big data sources and to correctly choose and implement the appropriate combination of qualitative and quantitative methods to really analyze and validate results. So TESDA also needs to be capacitated to effectively communicate the LMIS and the SAPSAR data to a broad audience, including, of course, students, job seekers, and policymakers. So uh, this capacity building should be an enhancement of our existing agencies' information dissemination strategies through user-friendly dashboards and, of course, platforms. Uh, we also see uh, the need for uh, sustained support from our policymakers because it is critical in the long-term success of the LMIS and our SAPSAR framework. TESA's role as a key player in the ecosystem will be, of course, to advocate for these resources and to ensure that training programs remain responsive to the labor market needs and demand. Um, actually, the, uh, the, in the whole, uh, the, the main uh, objective of the training programs of TESA based on the eight-point agenda is really training to trabajo. So we really committed to working with our partners to implement all of these recommendations and ensure our skills development programs are aligned with what we need, as mentioned. Um, uh, however, um, I'd like, in addition, I'd just like to highlight some of uh, uh, the importance of the study by Dr. Lawrence, although I was just asked to uh, react on the study of Dr. Connie. Uh, siguro may time pa naman ako, just short one lang. 
Uh, so on the study, so we have seen uh, as presented by Dr. Lawrence, the, the significant sectoral disparities in workers in elementary occupations, particularly in the mention of industries. So uh, the recommendation was really for us to have a targeted uh, skill development to for hard to fill uh, jobs. So TVET really is needed for that. So we recognize that we have to respond to these needs to offer targeted programs and focus on this high-level analytical skills as well. So that's part of the eight-point agenda and collaborating with our industry experts to develop and refine this progress will ensure, of course, relevance and effectiveness. Um, the findings on gender difference and skill engagement and pay gap, yeah, it good to, it, it's good to know that women, they are uh, they have bigger you know uh, pay compared to men. But of course, ang sabi nga natin, tama po that we have to balance this. So we do not want a, a gender disparity in terms of pay gap. So um, TESDA, we are trying to explore ways to really encourage more women to enter into technical fields through our gender-sensitive recruitment strategies and, of course, creating a learning environment. So we have the National Training Center for Women, which specifically caters to for training programs for women in non-traditional trades. So this is located in Taguig, and we offer 90% of our learners or trainees there are, are women. So these are training on welding, automotive, uh, ICT or mechatronics that's uh, really for women. So with majority of our workforce employed in low-level skills, Tivet really, uh, we really see that we have to play a very, very critical role, especially dun po sa upskilling initiative. So we are trying to offer now flexible and modular training programs so in response to evolving market needs. So we have flexible training delivery. Uh, through the, we have the TESA online program. We are now offering micro-credentials so that we are able to help workers transition into higher skills occupations or if they are trying to um, to change or try to to do another job. Uh, so we are trying to, and especially for those na may mga mabibilis yung pag, pagpalit ng mga requirements uh, for the ICT. So may mga micro-credential programs po tayo. So we are also trying, as mentioned po kanina, uh, looking for multiple pathways as well for senior high school graduates. Um, may uh, na mention po natin to that we have uh, we're trying to embed TVET programs in the senior high school and also uh, try uh, also already on dating uh, quality assurance or the assessment and certification of uh, TVL track uh, graduates. So we have noted that as in the study on the LMI, the study on the pay gaps. Uh, uh, recommends the use of an LMI to generate information skills requirements. So we recognize that LMI is very important to test uh, in alignment of our training programs uh, based on in our industry needs. So we have to re we recognize that incorporating the skills requirements in Tibet ensures that graduates are employable and ready. With, our, with the direction of our Director General, uh, Secretary Kiko Benitez, through the TESDA 8-point agenda, uh, TESDA is committed to providing uh, not just demand-driven and area-based event programs, but data-driven that will help Filipinos acquire the skills they need to succeed in the labor market. It, to quote po our secretary, uh, as he mentioned during uh, during the presentation, the TESDA Best 8-Point Agenda is about rationalizing TVET programming, optimizing TVET delivery, and maximizing our impact. And ultimately, it is about unlocking the potential of the Filipino people to perform the jobs required and demanded by the fourth industrial revolution. Maraming salamat po at uh, we're, uh, we're open to have uh, the discussion po. Thank you.